Spiritual woman is the greatest threat to the status quo The fruit she will bear And what she has access to Hey Gems, welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video, this is my pregnancy update video. For those of you who do not know, I am currently pregnant with my third baby, but I just wanted to record a separate video going more into details about this pregnancy because it is very different, it is very special, and um, I probably will, still won't be able to cover everything in this video, but I'm going to cover as much as I possibly can. So first and foremost, I am currently 27 weeks. I just entered my sixth month. This is actually my last week of my second trimester. So I'll be in my third trimester soon. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. So yes, I'll be entering my third trimester soon and I didn't even realize that. But let me show you all. So yes, I'm in my sixth month of pregnancy. I say six month because I literally just entered my six month. So I, I don't want to say I'm six months pregnant because I'm literally just like three days into my six month. But um, yeah, that's how far along I am now. Okay, so just a little backstory. I found out I was pregnant last year, November on about, I remember the exact date, November 4th. If you watched my previous video, you know that I went through a lot of hard times and difficulties within my personal relationship with my children's father. So uh, during that time, things were pretty much difficult. When I found out I was pregnant, I didn't really have any reaction. I wasn't happy. I wasn't sad. I was just numb. And I was numb because of what was happening, what I was going through at the time what I was feeling at the time um, it was just really hard and I didn't really know what to do and how to feel and uh, the beginning of my pregnancy was actually very very hard not in the sense of like morning sickness and stuff because thankfully I didn't have much of that with this one but mentally and emotionally I was out of it I was not happy um, things between my partner my then partner and I was just really bad and as much as we I was trying to make it work from the time I found out I was pregnant I was already mentally out of the relationship like I just didn't want to be there anymore I didn't want to be around him I didn't want to see him this pregnancy is what gave me my push to leave something that I know was literally deteriorating my physical mental and emotional health and my spiritual health so I am very thankful for this pregnancy as much as it may sound sad that oh she's pregnant now she's single she doesn't like it's not a sad situation for me in that aspect because this pregnancy literally saved my life and that alone is a whole nother video of how this pregnancy saved my life but it did and I'm very grateful for it and whoever this being is that chose me to bring them into this physical realm I am so grateful for them because like I said he or she saved my life literally yes yeah, starting out it, I, it, I was not healthy I was not eating I was barely sleeping like everything I should have been doing to make sure I'm healthy because I'm pregnant I was not doing because of the environment I was in the toxic relationship I was in the people that I was around everything was more negative than positive and that affected me deeply on top of that there was a lot of not a lot but there was physical abuse so I have to be honest and say like the beginning of my pregnancy was not healthy at all okay now, now let me not say at all because I'm here the baby is here and we're both fine but it was not healthy it just wasn't in terms of food and stuff like 
even food wise I wasn't eating as healthy as I normally would um, I, I didn't have no I had the herbs that I would need but I wasn't consistent like it was everything was just taking a lot out of me and I was not taking care of myself the way I should have been and that lasted for at least the first trimester of my pregnancy um, I wasn't gaining weight I was actually losing weight everything was just the opposite of what it should have been but I am thankful that I made it through it like my body was literally in survival mode and that is what got me to this point so at the end of the day I'm grateful I am fine now I am eating I have my appetite I'm resting I am gaining weight the way I should so everything is great now but that's just a simple reminder of how important your surrounding your environment and the people you're around is when you're pregnant I do not wish what I went through on anybody no pregnant woman should have to go through that none like it took a lot out of me way too much this pregnancy is also different because I did not experience morning sickness the way I did with my first two when I was pregnant with, with my first son I was sick from beginning to end I was walking around with a spit bottle I was vomiting throughout the whole pregnancy I didn't want to leave the house I didn't want to do nothing because I was always sick the nausea the vomiting the spitting you can ask anybody that was around me on a daily basis I was miserable because of the morning sickness I don't even know why they call it morning sickness because that shit lasted 24 7 with my second pregnancy the same thing although it got a little better when I moved back to the to the Virgin Islands um, I was still sick throughout the whole pregnancy and I walked around with a spit bottle again and I had that spit bottle up until I was given birth I was literally given birth and spitting it was just oh it was just a mess however I was eating healthier but that that morning sickness just it did not give me a break with my first two pregnancy and this pregnancy I did get a little morning sickness in my first trimester and um, I did experience a little spitting in my first trimester as well but it went away and it wasn't spitting to the point where I needed a spit bottle like my other two pregnancies so that's one big difference the morning sickness was thankfully not so bad and then by the time I entered my second trimester it all went away I don't know when last yeah I have not thrown up since I don't know when <laughs> I probably could count on my two hands how many times I threw up throughout my pregnancy so far and I'm already in my sixth month when in my first two pregnancy I was throwing up almost every day so yeah I am grateful that this baby is being good to me like I'm not miserable I'll, yes I get tired yes I'm I'm a little more irritable sometimes and you know just the normal pregnancy things that that comes along with bringing creating life but in terms of just the what I experienced with my first two is not that bad at all and I'm so grateful for it like I said the feeling is different from the time I found out I was pregnant at, at the time I was still in Ghana and still with my children's well we were still living together or whatever but I kept saying that like something about this pregnancy feels different and I can't put my hand on it and you know he just blew me off and be like oh every pregnancy not gonna be the same but I knew like it was undescribable how I was feeling like it was just different from the from the start like this pregnancy made me not want to be around anything that was detrimental to my life and to my well-being including my relationship and even though I tried to fight that feeling and still try to make it work this baby was like uh-uh you gain out of this situation before I come because this is not what's up so it this pregnancy was my push it is it's literally something I cannot verbally explain and describe but it's something that I guess you only know if you know in terms of if you have, have experienced it yourself yes I've 
I have pregnancy symptoms, but they're not. What pregnancy symptoms do I have? Oh, so one thing I can point out is that my first two pregnancy, I was so sensitive to smell that I didn't want anything scented around me. I had to use unscented soap, unscented body butter, unscented everything. I took all the air fresheners and everything that had a smell out of my house with my first pregnancy. I threw away everything that like, it all smelled bad to me. But with this pregnancy, I'm actually enjoying certain smells like sweet smells, smells feminine, sweet, delicate smells. I'm loving it. Like rose, rose right now, I am crazy about rose. I have rose incense, rose soap, rose lotion. Like <laughs> I am loving the smell of floral, rosy scents. And um, that's very different because I could not stand it with my first two pregnancies. Also, I have more sweet cravings. With my first two, I had more salty cravings, but now I have more sweet cravings. Like, I had to make my mother make me some coconut drops <laughs> because I am vegan, I'm plant-based, and you know, I wasn't gonna just go to the bakery and buy coconut drops. And although she make it, she makes it with um, some ingredients that I don't use, like soy. So I had her specifically make me some coconut drops with spelt flour and fresh grated coconut. My father went and bought some fresh card coconut and he grated it. And instead of raisins, she actually used dates and she sweetened it with agave and she used coconut milk. And oh my gosh, I tear those things up. That's just an example, but like, <laughs> I am having way more sweet cravings with this pregnancy but in all like I feel so much better with this pregnancy like I feel pretty um, I I'm going out more like I'm always up and down but my first two pregnancy I was always in the house I didn't want to be around nobody I didn't want to be seen anywhere but now I like I enjoy putting on my little outfits dressing up and going out even if I don't really have anything to do but uh, the hard part to that is still having two little ones to care for because naturally, because they're so young, they're gonna react due to, due to the fact that they know another baby is on the way. So that part has been hard, but thankfully my parents have been so helpful and they love my parents, they love their grandparents. So now that I'm back home, especially the one year old, like he loved his grandfather. He's always with him, so that's a big help in that aspect. So that gives me time to more focus on myself and take care of myself and heal from everything I went through. So um, although that part is hard, having to care for two little ones while pregnant, especially being that they also experience trauma uh, and I have you know, be more patient and so far, naturally you kind of lose some of your patience while you're pregnant and you're a little bit more irritable and so forth so that part is a little difficult but thankfully I have very supportive family and they've been helping so much so gender do I know the gender no I do not am I going to find out the gender no I am not so we all will be waiting to find out if this baby is a boy or a girl what do I think I'm having I'm not gonna say but you can tell me in the comments below what you think I'm having based on everything I said, based on the comparisons I made between my first two pregnancies and this one. But um, yeah, I genuinely don't wanna know the gender for more reasons than one, but the main reason is because I just really wanna focus on bringing forth a healthy baby. After everything I went through, I just wanna make sure my baby is healthy, that I am healthy and that I have a healthy labor and birth so the gender isn't important because boy or girl this pregnancy is still very different and special because like I said before and I cannot stop saying it it saved my life and um, I know that this pregnancy came for my own survival because it was the push I needed to put myself first after years of just not doing so so um 
yeah, I'm not gonna find out the gender, but I will be recording my filming my um my labor and birth. <laughs> Am I gonna do another lotus birth? Mm, probably not a full lotus birth, but not because I didn't enjoy my first one that I did with my last son. Uh, I truly did. However, the whole delay clamping and delaying detaching the umbilical cord from the baby is part of having to me a natural birth so I will be doing that so I will be leaving the placenta and umbilical cord attached to the baby for a few days until everything is dried up but I may not wait until it falls off by itself I don't know yet I'm still deciding I don't know uh, I only saying that because with when I did my lotus birth with my son the cord actually dried up really quick like in within three days the cord was dried up however there was just one little piece of flesh that was still connected to his belly button and it was just literally hanging on and I was just waiting and waiting for it to fall off like it was literally just hanging like hanging there so I feel like once the cord is dried up I feel comfortable cutting it off but um, I don't know yet I'm, I'm gonna feel things out and see if I do a full lotus spurt or a half lotus spurt but regardless I will be burying my placenta like I did with my last spurt and this time I may plant what kind of tree am I going to plant I don't know I don't know yet but I will plant some tree on top of the placenta so as I mentioned I will be recording my labor and birth but although I will be sharing my birth story on here on this platform YouTube I do want to record a very raw detailed birth this time like I this pregnancy I want to do things how I have always wanted to do things but haven't been able to just because of the background chaos and noise that I always had to experience so now that that is out the way I'm doing everything the way I want or the way that I feel serves me and that will make me happy so I want to record a very raw and detailed birth and delivery labor and delivery labor and birth video so YouTube may not be the platform I upload that on however I will share my birth story on YouTube but if you want to see that raw detailed video um, I may either put it up on my website or on patreon if I you know decide to start a patreon like I mentioned on my last video so um, I don't know just follow me and I'll keep y'all posted on what I decide but I am definitely recording that because it's gonna be something very beautiful I can feel it because everything about this pregnancy has been so different and so special and so spiritual that I can't not capture it in some type of way so um, I'm definitely gonna capture it this time in the way that I know I really want to and now that I have the support that is going to allow me to capture it I'm gonna make sure that's done so uh, yeah that's about it for this pregnancy update it's a little long hopefully once I edit it it kind of come down a little bit but that's about it for this video you all can expect more videos from me of course um, I'll probably be sharing some what I eat in a day videos while pregnant uh, random pregnancy updates I just want to be able to share whatever I feel like sharing in the moment and I hope that you all will appreciate that type of information and that type of um, content and stick with me help me grow my channel and um, follow me on all my platforms and stay tuned because like I said Gem Solistic will be relaunching in a very special way I cannot wait to share you all share with you all what I have planned pertaining to Gem Solistic and um, that's about it so the Sun has set and it's beautiful out here but I'm gonna end this video and get off of the beach before it gets too dark but anyways as always I wish you all love light and prosperity and you all will see me in my next video Peace.
I am the keeper of the gate, a seer of the way, a seeker of the fullness in the future of the clay.